How's it going guys? So in this video I'm going to show you how to get started with mining in EVE Online. Now mining is something that you can do if you want to gather resources to build your own ships and items in the game. But you can also mine and sell the stuff that you mine on the market to earn ISK and then buy other stuff that you need. So mining is not the most profitable or fun activity when it comes to earning ISK. But it's something that new players can get into fairly quickly. And it's also something that you can do uh, semi-AFK while watching Netflix or working on your computer. There's basically four different ways you can mine resources in EVE Online. And the first one and the most common one is ore mining. Now ore mining can be done in all sectors of space where you can find asteroid belts or ore anomalies. Now in wormhole space there are only ore anomalies, no asteroid belts. And in Nullsec they have reduced the amount of asteroid belts and replaced them with ore anomalies. And you can use basically any mining ship in these sites to mine resources. Now the second way to harvest resources in EVE Online would be ice mining. And to mine ice you actually need a mining barge or some other Omega ship. You can't do it with an Alpha ship. So you need to upgrade your account to a paid account to do ice mining. And ice mining can only be done in known space, so you can't do it in wormholes. And it's only available in certain systems that you can find on the EVE map. Uh, for example, by using evemaps.dotland.net, there you can find the ice mining systems. Moon mining is a third option you have when it comes to harvesting resources in EVE Online. To do moon mining, you need a structure called an Athenor. Then you also need an Athenor upwell core and a moon drill. You need to scan the moons with survey probes to determine which resources they have before anchoring your structure. You then anchor the structure in a moon drill spot in a system that allows moon mining. In high sec that is only 0.5 security status systems, otherwise you need to do it in low sec, null sec or wormhole space. Once it's anchored and the moon drill is activated, you can pull resources from the moon and mine them in any mining ship, even alpha pilots can do this. But remember, you need to defend the structure from hostile groups of players as well. Another way to gather resources in EVE is gas harvesting, which can be quite profitable actually. This can be done with an alpha ship in low sec, null sec and wormhole space. You need to first scan down the cosmic signature of the gas site using a ship equipped with a probe launcher and core scanner probes. A venture can do this, but I would recommend doing the scanning with an exploration ship such as the Heron or Probe. Once you're at the site, you can harvest the gas with gas cloud scoops. This can be done with a Venture or any other mining ship, even a mining barge. But personally, I really do recommend the Venture. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention that some gas sites do have NPCs in them and the Venture is not a match for them. So you need to actually have a combat PvE ship ready to eliminate those uh, NPCs, mainly in uh, wormhole gas sites. Now if you want to get started with mining, you're going to need some mining ships and the first mining ship that you want to get into is the Venture. The Venture is a mining frigate and here is a basic fitting for the Venture. Now here in the high slots, as you can see, we have two Tech 2 mining lasers and then we have a core probe launcher and this is just in case you go into wormhole space uh, for some more profitable ores and uh, then you maybe get lost in there or something. And you can use uh, the core probe launcher and the core, core scanner probes to scan your way back to known space. And then we have uh, in the medium power slots, the medium shield extender tech one gives you some more tanks so that you don't explode immediately if something attacks you. And then we have a 5mn compact micro warp drive, allows you to zip around a bit faster in belts and anomalies and stuff. Then we have a survey scanner that can scan asteroids and see how much ore is left in them. And then we have a mining laser upgrade, which increases the yield of your mining lasers. And then we have a core defense field extender in the rigs, uh, increases your tank and the EM shield reinforcer, which uh, uh, plugs the EM shield hole in your resistances. And then we have a small processor overclocking unit, which uh, basically uh, gives you more CPU and makes the fit a bit more newbie friendly. And then we have also the two hobgoblin drones in your drone bay. These can be used in high sec to kill the uh, belt rats, but it's not gonna work in wormhole space or other areas of space where the rats are a bit too strong for the venture to handle. You're gonna have to get a combat PVE ship to uh, clear those rats, I guess. 
Alright, so uh, then what we have is a Venture uh, Gas Harvester fit. You can also fly this as an Alpha Pilot. And uh, here we have some gas cloud scoops instead of the Tech 2 miners. And we also have a core probe launcher and a core scanner probe so that you can scan your way out of a wormhole in case you get lost. And uh, otherwise it's not that much different than the, uh, the mining fit uh, or mining fit. But in the low power slots it has the inertial stabilizers, allows you to align a bit faster in case something pops up and tries to kill you. Then you can align and warp off a bit faster. And the low friction nozzle joints have the same effect. Alright, so the final ship that you want to get as an alpha miner is the Miasmos. Now the Miasmos is a ore and gas transport ship. It has a mining hold which has between 40 and 60 thousand cubic meters of space. So uh, you can transport a lot more uh, ore and gas to the market uh, than you can do with a uh, venture. Now with the venture you have about 5,000 cubic meters of uh, space in your in your mining hold, and uh, with this one it's basically more than 10 times as much if you train the skills uh, to level five but if they're like if with a, if you're a alpha account then you only have like 40,000 or something because you can only train Galente Holder to level one but basically here is a fit for the Miasmos you can you can uh, copy it from here if you want but that's basically it for the alpha ships so in this part of the video we're gonna do some mining and the first thing you want to do is jump into your mining ship and undock from the station. Now once you're undocked you can see your overview and make sure that it has a mining tab. Now I have a custom overview that I made myself and I have a harvest tab where all the asteroids and icicles and uh, gas clouds and everything will appear once I'm on the grid with them. Now the default overview should have uh, a mining tab if I remember correctly. Uh, but if you want to copy my overview, that is easy to do as well. You just want to head, head on over to the Kaldari Rustworks chat channel and you can do that by clicking the plus sign on your chat windows and uh, then basically type in Kaldari Rustworks and click on join. And once you're in the Kaldari Rustworks channel, there is an overview here that you can click on and then you can just click on yes and it will load the overview into your settings and that's it that's the easy way to do it now i'm not gonna go and explain how to do or how to set up an overview from scratch that's a whole other tutorial but this is the easy way if you want to get uh, going quickly all right so once you're uh, ready to do some mining what you want to do is either find a ore anomaly or a asteroid belt so to find an ore anomaly what you want to do is click here on the scanners button here on the lower left and then click on probe scanner to the left and then the probe scanner window will open up and here you can see uh, different uh, green anomalies that you can warp to if you right click them and then click on warp within zero meters now currently I don't have any ore anomalies only combat sites it's gonna say ore site here under group but I don't have any of them in this system and uh, in high sec you won't have them really it's only the ice belts that appear as ore anomalies if I remember correctly the, it might be different in 0.5 systems maybe there are some ore anomalies I'm not entirely sure but basically in high sec you're gonna be belt mining for the most part so the next thing we're gonna do is find an asteroid belt to mine so I'm just gonna right click in empty space and then select asteroid belts and then select a belt to go to and click on warp to within zero meters warp drive active. and while we're warping let's do uh, one more thing here let's click on the inventory here on the upper left and then click on the mining hold uh, just click on it left click on it hold and drag and then you can have it separated from the inventory then you can just close the inventory and as you can see now you have your mining hold here visible and you can see exactly how much ore is in your mining hold and when it gets full you can just uh, warp to the station and deposit the ore and then get back into the field now we have an NPC here that we're gonna have to take care of so let's just launch the drones here And the drones are auto-aggressing it because it aggressed me, so it's going to die here in a bit. Uh, 
There we go. And then pull my drones back in. Alright, so mining. Now I'm going to go to the mining tab. And as you can see, here are all the asteroids. And uh, I want to be within, if you can hover over your, your mining lasers, you can see the range of your mining lasers. Now mine, mine are 12 kilometers, so I want to be within 12 kilometers of an asteroid that I'm going to be mining. So the next thing is just locking up the asteroids. You can just right click it, select lock target. And I'm going to lock two asteroids, one for each mining laser. And then I'm just going to click on the mining laser and click on the next target and click on the second mining laser and that's basically it now I'm mining asteroids in HiSec so that's how you do it and as I said once the your mining hold is full just head back to the station deposit the ore and get back in there get back in the field so if you want to level up as a miner, the next ship that I recommend that you get is a retriever. Now the retriever is a mining barge, it's an Omega ship, so you have to upgrade your account to be able to use it. But it's definitely, uh, I think, the best of the mining barges, especially for solo miners. Now uh, here is a basic fit that you can use for asteroid mining and also moon mining. It has these uh, strip miners. Take one here in the high power slots, then we have a 10mn afterburner which allows you to burn around in the belts a, a bit faster. And then a compact thermal shield hardener to increase your thermal resistance. And then we have a damage control which increases your, <coughs> your tank, your resistances basically. And then we have some mining laser upgrades, take two which increases the yield of your strip liner. Then we have in the rig slots we have uh, medium transverse bulkheads, this increases your hull hit points. And then we have some rats here, not rats, some uh, drones to clear the rats uh, in high sec. But I don't recommend going into low sec or null sec with the retriever unless you have a defense fleet that's ready to protect you. Because these are the defensive capabilities of the retriever are pretty low and it's also a slow and bulky ship so it, it can't get away very fast. So I really recommend if you're gonna mine in low sec, uh, use a venture. Uh, or something else that's fast and uh, exposed, uh, expendable. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention that uh, if you want to mine ice, you have to switch out these strip miners for ice harvesters, and then the mining laser upgrades for ice harvester upgrades. But you can keep these modules in your cargo bay, so that you can just uh, go to a station and a dock and then switch out the modules, and then you can uh, mine ice and ores and moon, moon materials with the same ship, basically. So you can still upgrade the Retriever a bit uh, if you're mining in high sec especially. And you can use this max yield fit for example. It has uh, modulated strip miner tech 2s in the high slots which use these simple asteroid mining crystals as uh, kind of as ammo and they wear out as you mine so you have to uh, replace them or reload them once they wear out. But otherwise this uh, fit is a bit similar to the basic fit, except here in the low power slots we have three mining laser upgrades instead of two, and there's no damage control. So that uh, decreases your tank and, and makes you a bit more susceptible to ganking. Uh, but if you're in a relatively safe system uh, and you keep your eyes on, on local chat and d-scan and whatnot, then you should be able to stay safe with this one as well. Alright, so if you want to upgrade even more as a solo miner, I recommend uh, the Machina. It's a Tech 2 uh, mining barge, basically. It's called an Exumer. Uh, and uh, this fit has around, uh, I think it was around 70 to 80,000 hit points. And uh, the mining hold has around, I think, 30,000 or something uh, uh, capacity. So it has a, a hold uh, similar to the size of the Retriever maybe a bit more but uh, yeah otherwise it's uh, it just has uh, tanking modules basically fitted here and uh, then we have some tech 2 mining drones as well to increase your yield a bit more all right so that's pretty much uh, as far as you're gonna get as a solo miner with mining barges and exhumers the next phase in leveling up as a miner is by getting multiple accounts so that you can run multiple mining ships at the same time. So for example multiple retrievers or machinos or a combination thereof, whatever your skill points and isk allow you to do. Now if you're really into mining what you want to do is get a third account and train that one up to fly a industrial command ship. 
Now this is the poor poise which is the lowest tier industrial command ship, there's three of them. And what this one can do is it can run two mining foreman command bursts. And what these do is they are equipped with these mining laser charges and uh, they can increase the range of your mining lasers and also decrease the cycle time so that your yields are increased over time. And then what it can also do is use the medium industrial core and medium asteroid ore compressor to compress ore in the field so that you don't have to warp back and forth between the station and the asteroid belt or ore anomaly as you would otherwise have to do as your mining hold fills up with ore. But uh, then there's also the Orca, which uh, has a slight advantage over the Porpoise. Uh, it can use also ice compressors and uh, gas compressors as well. Uh, and then it has a bit more bonuses to the mining foreman bursts. And it has 450k HP with this, uh, or EHP with this fitting, but it also costs around 2 billion ISK or so. Whereas the Porpoise is around uh, 250 to 300 million or something around that, depending on where you buy it from. Uh, then the final, the end game of the mining boosting or industrial command ships is the Rorqual. But this one can only run in low sec, null sec, and I, I think you can build one in wormhole space, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it has a jump drive as well, so you can jump it around uh, by using sinusuro sino field generators and stuff like that. So uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope this was uh, helpful to you. And remember to like, subscribe and share this video. Thank you for watching.